Hello. Today I'm going to be showing you a simple and cheap way to attract great spotted woodpeckers into your garden. And my secret weapon to do this is the woodpecker pole. Well that's what I call it. To make one, all you need is a decent sized branch, a drill bit about an inch diameter, and a drill. Then all you do is you drill a series of holes all around the trunk, just like this. So once you've got all your holes sorted, you need to add the magic ingredient, which is beef suet. Now beef suet comes granulated, so what you have to do is you just pour it into your hand, this is how it comes, you squeeze it up and you push it into the holes that you've made. There's a few holes I made earlier on. There you go, that's it. And you've made yourself your very own woodpecker pole. All you need to do now is sit back and wait to see who comes in first to feed on the suet. Now although it's been created to attract any woodpeckers that might be around your garden, other birds will also enjoy feeding on the suet, which is a valuable high fat source of energy that many species will enjoy. Woodpeckers will have no problem gripping onto the vertical surface, but you may want to pop a few pegs into the pole to act as perches for other birds. I've got two woodpecker poles situated close to the house here and my local pair of woodpeckers started using it within a day of the first one going up. Since then they visited every single day and last summer they even brought the family along to feed and that was an absolutely fantastic sight to see. I've had some great filming opportunities this past year so take a look at how stunning these birds are and how offering a feeder that targets a particular species can bring some really rewarding results. Now, I wonder what I have to do to attract a white-tailed sea eagle? Hmm, that's a challenge. Great spotted woodpeckers are one of the most colourful birds to attract to your garden. The head gives a clue to the age and sexes of the species. This is a juvenile with a red cap. The adult male is distinguished by a red patch on the back of the neck. And the female has no red on her head. And it's sometimes mistaken for the smaller and much rarer lesser spotted woodpecker. Even a young bird like this has learned it's wise to stop and check it's safe to carry on when you're feeding out in the open. Using my brilliant little mini camera, it's possible to get up close and really personal with these stunning birds. This woodpecker pole is just in front of the kitchen window and gives really good views as long as you don't spook them because they're always keeping one eye on the house. Great spotted woodpeckers drum to attract mates and also to declare their territory to other woodpeckers. That strong beak is also the perfect tool for rooting out insects under bark and rotting wood. And of course suet on woodpecker poles. This bird is just casually hammering, but when they're in top gear they can really drum fast.
They'll often feed on fat feeders in the garden, just as this juvenile is doing. But it's dizzy work. The woodpecker pole is a much better bet. And at least it stays still. Thanks for watching.